But yeah, so um, just a quick update for any situation uh, in Da Nang. Basically, everything's closed. Restaurants, bars, discos. Like, there's some like pockets and stuff going on. Yeah, so, oh yeah, well, restaurants, so yeah, yeah, they're still doing takeaway. But just anything where there's like, you know, gatherings of people, it's all, it's all been shut. So yeah, this has all happened within the last week. Everything's been pretty, pretty rapid in terms of how much everything's been shut down and how quickly, just to, in the response to how many cases there have been. But here's, here's a few places. Desolate. And uh, yeah, everyone's wearing masks. The beach has been shut. Uh, all um, religious festivals, gatherings, events, etc., have all been shut as well. So yeah, pretty much. Apart from the fact that we can still go out, and we can still do do stuff. It's pretty much uh, lockdown. Uh, we missed the bin man today, so we're going to chuck our bin of rubbish here. We're going to get shouted at by this man, are we? Oh, this is like massive things in there. Cockroach landed on me because I was packing into this one. No, 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 it flew. It flew into me. I saw it. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was a moth or something. I didn't, I, then it flew this, it threw like behind me and then it didn't stop. Uh, it didn't keep, didn't keep going. It just landed on it. Okay, so let's go up to this main road here. So we're just going to do a little drive around. There's a guy doing a piss there. Uh, just to sort of show you, like, yeah. I mean, people are still out and about with their families and having a walk and stuff. That's not stopped. But, like, basically every business is now just doing takeaways if it's food or beverage. And if, I think there's still, like, I don't know, there's still, like, small spas and stuff open. I'm not quite sure if that's official or not. But see, most places, like, I always find with, in Vietnam, it's quite difficult to know if a business is open or not. Because you see a, a table outside with a lot of people eating and drinking, but that's just the family, you know, because they live there, so... I guess that's the difference, really. So we're heading to get uh, Bun Dao Mang Tom takeaway on the other side. So we're going to get across the bridge. But I just thought it'd be a cool quick video update what's going on corona wise uh, in Danang. It just happened so quickly. It was like two weeks ago, it was just like maybe, was it two weeks ago? Like the first case. And I think I did a video. Oh no, it was last week. Was that last week? It was like one guy came and he traveled from like Danang airport to the bus station. That's when it started, right? Like one, no? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so the guy, the initial, the initial spreader guy actually did 14 days of quarantine. So that's actually why they've extended quarantine now. They've extended quarantine for like 21 days now. Because he did his bit, you know, he came back, came up to Japan, quarantined, and then it went around a bit uh, and had it and spread it to those people. So, yeah, I guess it's, it's like a, a variant, right? One of the more vicious variants. So we're going to head over this bridge here. It's quite a nice, beautiful bridge. I don't know if we've done a driving vlog yet, have we? I think this might be the first driving vlog we've done. We've done other videos where we talk and talk to the camera while we're driving, but usually we go somewhere and we do something for a bit. But I think this is going to be the first majority driving video. So yeah, spoiler alert, this, this, that's basically what the video is going to be. So if you don't like it, then... What's the name of this lit bridge? I always forget the name. Chow Ting Lee. Chow Ting Lee. It's a nice, actually, a nice time to drive around now. Uh, 
the heat subsided, the sun's going down a little bit, but you still got a nice light going over the mountains and stuff. Give you guys a little tour. By the way, the video starts off with me pimp slapping a cockroach. Although, actually, I don't know if I'm going to leave that bit in. Do that at a certain angle. Make it straight. There's a famous dragon bridge over there. Yeah, gyms, gyms are like one of the first things to close, actually. Yeah, it's nice. So, yeah, everybody is out doing like exercise outside pretty quickly. So I think gyms are the first thing to close, right? One of the first. So there's a load of work going on here at the moment. Oh, it's nice to like... They're doing some... Uh, upgrades to this road and this part of the bridge. At the moment the road is like super bumpy. Nice little view there. Give you guys that view. So now we're on the city side. over there somewhere. Oh, I know the direction it's in, but I just don't remember exactly where it is. Oh, look, so this bridge is actually almost, look, it's nice to do. That's like uh, the last couple of days, because I didn't see that before. Shall I go this way, or carry on going around? Let's go this way. It's more exciting. Yeah, so this bit now, no cars can go up here, so it's just, just for bikes. good actually because this roundabout here is like one of the most dangerous normally. So many accidents here all the time. So you can't go straight there anymore. Well you can actually. be surprised if it's going to get to the point where there's like certain limits to the amount you can go out. It hasn't started to happen yet but I think it'll be that'll be the next thing that will happen if uh, the numbers keep on growing. I mean they're growing quite slowly like compared to last time. But I think it's because of these measures. tend to stay open like let's say the, the last thing to close when the, when the restrictions come they just put these uh, like barriers outside to split the queue up 
and then the little footprints to show you social distance. Well, it's just quite funny that people are like bread is like the most important thing. You can't you can't shut that down. Right, this is where the uh, the tet market was. If you watch that video, we're picking up the tree. A little kumquat tree. I turned it too late, but maybe you saw it. Yeah, we're almost at the Bundao the place now. Righty tighty. That's where I bought my MacBook. Machine's looking all lonely then. Oh yeah, I remember that. Well, actually, I don't remember where it is. Huh? Next left. I know that her order because I can't remember the name of everything. Yeah, maybe a bit, a little bit of piece of camera. All right, I'll show you what we're eating first. So this is the delicious thing with the fermented shrimp paste. Ferment? Is it shrimp? Shrimp paste? Very pungent smell, but delicious. Oh, there's a bit of something on the. It's not what I want, is it? Yeah, it's pretty delicious. I think it like, took me a couple, couple of tries to come round to this. Actually, it wasn't really like my favourite thing first off. I think it might have been because I had some bad versions, uh, but this is really nice. So I guess we'll end the video there. Oh, look, we're fine. Well, we pick it up again when we get the camera. Is that seasoning? When we get the food. Ah. It's fish it like they're, they're so s s s still. Why are you back then, right? You scared them. You scared her, and she had loads of babies. No, she's going there. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying she because she says she's I pregnant. Saw her, right? 